So hello everyone, um, my name's John, I'm 34 and I'm from England and um, I'm a musician and a singer, as Toby, as Toby said. Um, and I, I just wanted to bring, just touch on what Toby just said about the 12 empowerments because I've been involved now in Balance View, very passionately involved making it my priority in life for the last nine and a half years. It's been my number one priority in my whole lifestyle. And just reflecting back on, on how I was before meeting this training and doing the 12 Empowerments specifically, it's just such an incredible moment to just sit there in this meeting, to listen to everything that was shared and just to reflect on how my life is now because of this training. I, I just you know, it's been the majority of my adult life I've been living with complete effortlessness, ease, empowerment, a brightness of mind, a clarity of mind, like wonderful relationships. The relationship with my partner, who's also involved in Balanced View, is just, um, you know, after nine and a half years of being together, we also met each other just at the same time I met the training. Before this training, uh, the longest relationship I had was, I think, a year. But in my mind, it was over the minute I started because this is the same with all my intimate relationships, was that I just felt so uncomfortable with the flow of my experience in myself that whenever I entered an intimate relationship, I felt so immediately flawed in myself that I felt I had to, I have to fix myself first before I can actually have an intimate relationship that works because as Toby said, I describe myself as an extroverted person. I'm an extrovert, I'm sociable, I'm happy, and, um, and therefore I must always have that data set in place in order to, to have my correct identity in life. So before this training, when I had experiences of depression, anxiety, anger, it was... Um, it was really crushing. It was like it was like something completely other than myself had entered my mind and I needed to do everything I could to get rid of it, to not experience it, to to then get back to my real identity, which was extroverted, sociable, happy, relaxed and at ease and um, liked by everyone. And um, yeah, one of the fundamentals of life, as I learned in this training, is that data are completely unpredictable countless, ceaseless, and I never know how I'm going to feel. And most of the time, when I wake up in the morning, we now have an agreement in our relationship with uh, Celine that it's kind of an unspoken agreement that we don't talk. Celine doesn't talk to me, basically, <laughs> for at least about an hour in the morning, whilst I just sort of stumble around and kind of, you know, get in the shower and just stand there for a bit, and then just go and, like, look at the sky for a bit, or... Because I just find... <laughs> I don't know how I managed to maintain such a, an identity of being happy and open and extroverted when mornings were like consistently like this. I must have just blanketed them out. Well, I did a lot of things. I woke up and did exercise immediately, got into like a positive state. But, um, but I'm just so... I was, I was actually reflecting on it this morning. I, was, uh, I walked out to the beach and just basically sat on the beach and there's all these people doing all these different things and I'm just kind of just sat there staring at the sand. But I feel so... I feel so comfortable and at ease being exactly as I am and there's nothing in me anymore that, that, um, that is scared that this is going to stay. That was something that was um, very present for me when I felt depressed or negative or really afflictive before was that, oh my God, I've lost my identity, this is my new identity, I'm depressed and miserable and no one likes me and it's going to stay, it's going to be permanent. And now, there's, I mean, that's just total nonsense. It's rubbish. Like we, we, you know, we, uh, our mind is changing continuously every single moment. And to know that so instinctively now in my experience because of this training, it means that I can, I can just feel totally safe, like completely 100% safe in my own skin, 100% comfortable in my own skin, knowing that everything flows as it does. And... And even in it, in the moment of it, it's, it's indivisible from complete comfort, ease, relaxation and this openness of mind, this brightness of mind. 
And the 12 empowerments, um, well, yeah, it just, it took my entire life and just shone such a bright light on it, such an effortless light on it. I've always been someone who really doesn't like effort and work. Um, you know, I just, it's not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested in efforting for things. I much prefer to just keep everything very simple and relaxed. And I always actually found that that's the most potent way to live as well. And that really showed, showed like shone a light on that for me, the 12 empowerments, just my whole life that was seen so confusing before, so many different descriptions, relationships, relationships with my parents, you know, wanting so much to, to be of benefit to them, to be a loving son, to love them as they are, and having no idea how to do that. Um, so, yeah, these really important relationships, it's, this is why this training is so real for me. You know, like the relationship with my parents, with my family, with my friends, with my partner, um, with myself. have just all become so beautiful and so open and easeful.